What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add customer reviews from CJ Dropshipping into your actual Shopify store. So I'm going to go here into my online store and what I want to do is just to check it out. Actually I'm going to go into my product. So I'm going to go here and to preview on my online store and check it out that we have this product that it's inside our store, right? So here's uh, the product, here's the images, here's the color, here's the quantity, the overview, the product, the packaging, and all that. All the information that we want to see, it's now in here. But I wanted to, uh, let's say, have the customer review product, and I wanted to import that directly from CJ Dropshipping. So how can I do this? I needed to do two things, which in my case is to have an actual customer review support inside Shopify and then later on what I wanted to do is to import the actual, uh, let's say the reviews of the products. So first of all, I'm going to go into cjdropshipping.com. Inside here, I'm going to go for the product that was already been added. So as you can see, I'm going to hit into my CJ. Here is my actual dashboard. I'm going to hit now into verify now and as you can see we do have the actual order so I'm going to hit into my products I'm going to go for connection and what I want to do first of all is to look for the product that I want to check it out the reviews in my case let's say that I wanted to add some reviews for let's go for the uh, humidifier cooling USB fan LED so I'm going to try to make this title a little bit more smaller like this. So I'm going to just delete this one. Let's go air humidifier cooling USB fan LED. Let's go three and one and then wait. Uh, it's okay. So now that we have just checked it out, which is the product that we're going to be taking the actual reviews, let's go for three in one inside the actual CJ drop shipping, which in my case, I believe it's not appearing in here. It's actually here. So I'm going to go here into open link into your new tab it says loading and here I have the cj dropshipping.com product the actual products from cj dropshipping so if i go back here into my product and i scroll a little bit down i'm going to be seeing that we have the description the merchant comments the marketing suggestion and the buyer review so here we have a buyer review of i'm not pretty sure what's the name of this guy we have the country the stars and the photo so if you think that this one is actually like valuable for you, you can always hit into save image and I'm going to import these actual review into my actual store. So what I want to do is now that I have the, let's say the custom image that was generated by the actual customer, I can go back into my Shopify store. And here what I wanted to do is to look out for add application. And inside our application, as you can see, we already have this picked for you. It says judge.me. So this judge.me is going to be helping you to add product reviews into your store. There is a free plan available and we don't have to pay like a lot of stuff. But of course, there are like a few features that are only limited. So if you're okay with that, just hit now into add application. I'm going to hit now into add. And then later on, as you can see, we just need to grant the access between the Shopify and the application. So we hit now into install app. And there we go. So once we have successfully done that, what I want to do is just to get started with the actual importing of my product. So what you can do is that you can go here into next, which of course I want to check it out how it's going to be looking the, let's say the review of my product. In my case, I'm going to just use this one here now into install widgets now. We want to grow, blah, blah, blah. So just wait a few seconds there. And then later on, the application is going to be asking to go into the preview of your store to check it out. This one is actually looking um, your actual uh, star, so you can check it out there. So I'm going to go in to check the widgets on your store directly. And as you can see, here is my product, right? So I'm going to hide this bar. I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I'm going to try to look for the review section. I'm going to scroll a little bit down. So as you can see, we don't see anything yet. So I want to go back here. I'm going to go for um, my actual store. I'm going to go for online store. I'm going to head down into customize. And here into customize, what I want to do is to go into my theme settings. Into my theme settings, you want to look out for the actual application, which in my case, I believe is into the app embedded. So I click here. 
And as you can see, this one is disabled. So let's go here. I enable this one. I'm going to now try to reload the page once again. And there we go. So as you can see, I do have now the reviews added here. It says no reviews. So we scroll all my way down and I have another batch that says customer reviews, writer review. So now that we have added these reviews into my store, I want to just to import all the reviews from CJ Dropshipping inside my Shopify account. So I'm going to go back into the actual exit first one. I'm going to go into my application. I'm going to go into my judge.me. And once I am inside here, I wanted to just scroll a little bit down and add the import reviews. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see, we do have from review applications. So what you want to do is to look out for the product that was being automatically added from, let's say, for example, Shopify or Lux or Rive or Shuttle, WooCommerce, whatever. In our case, since we don't have any of these products yet added, we wanted to just import reviews manually. But we need to have a review as a CSV file xls file or this actual format so if i go back here into my actual product which in my case is this one what i can totally suggest to you is to try to look for this product inside dropship or supplier but the actual store where this one is going to be listed so in my case i'm going to go into the actual aliexpress so what i want to do is to first of all change the actual language of this store so i'm going to hit now into continue and I'm going to paste the name of my product. So I'm going to go here, I get into search and check it out that we actually uh, have the same product here. So just make sure this one is actually the same product here. Three in one air humidifier cooling USB. I'm going to scroll all the way down and look out for the product that is going to be, let's say the same product that I'm going to be listed into my store. So once you find that, what I want to do is to click the and I'm going to head down into the actual customer reviews. If you don't have any reviews in here, then you want to look out for another product. Of course, it needs to be exactly the same. And then later on, what I want to do is to actually do this manually. There's an actual automatic way to do this. But in my case, I'm actually going to be doing this manually. So for example, here we have the name of this actual guy. So I'm going to head now into this product description, which in my case is that instead of going into import is to add an actual review. So here into the product search, you want to look out for your uh, product that you want to make the listing for, the name you want to do for something random, the rating, let's say this four stars, the title review, I just copy and paste this information, and the review product should be the one that we have just downloaded before which in my case is this one. I hit now into open. Here's the YouTube URL and the review title should be called. I'm going to go here, scroll a little bit down, check it out. The name it says, um, let's go for, I don't know, maybe it works well. Okay, so I'm going to go back here into my store. Works pretty well. And I hit now into submit. So now as you can see, this status product should be now automatically added. So. I'm going to go now here when it says published, just make sure this one says, of course, published. I'm going to go into my actual store of the same product, uh, reload the page, and I want to make sure that this product is now having the actual, uh, let's say the product review. So in my case, I'm going to once again, reload the page. And as you can see, we do have one review already been added here. So we have the stars. So I'm going to click here. This one should be taking me into the customer reviews. And you don't want to import all of them. Let's say that we have just only like four or five customer reviews and it's going to be actually looking great. So I think that we have now covered the basics, guys. You now know how to do this manually into your actual store. Later on, I'm going to be showing you how to bulk all of that into just one place so you can do this more faster. But uh, so far, this is what we can do here into the 2023. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you want to make sure you want to check it out more stuff, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And hopefully I can see you on the actual next video. I'll see you soon. Thank you.